Tomorrow's rescheduled executions of Florida mass murderers Ted Bundy and Gerald Stano have been postponed again. Each man today was granted an indefinite stay for more appeals. Bruce Hall reports tonight on the increasingly long lines on a lot of the nation's death rows. Both men were waiting within feet of Florida's electric chair, only hours before they were scheduled to be put to death. They are two of the nation's most notorious mass killers. Gerald Stano and Ted Bundy together have been linked to nearly 80 murders. The stays of execution, the third for Bundy, the second for Stano, gives them at least 60 more days to try to overturn their death sentences. On this, the 10th anniversary of the Supreme Court's reenactment of the death penalty, state officials say repeated stays by the courts are creating log jams in 38 states that have the death penalty. As of May 1st, 1,714 people are awaiting execution, with the number growing by about 250 a year. So far, 61 prisoners have been executed, but the number is growing each year. More than half of the executions have been in Florida and Texas. As death row appeals go to the U.S. Supreme Court, two of its most liberal members, Thurgood Marshall and William Brennan, have been waging a relentless campaign against the death penalty, saying it is cruel and unusual punishment. But those in favor of capital punishment say the public now approves of the death penalty as a matter of principle. I believe the death penalty is both constitutional and in a narrow set of circumstances an appropriate expression of retribution for us exceptionally heinous acts. Meanwhile, Bundy and Stano have been returned to their regular cells, joining 245 other Florida inmates on death row. Bruce Hall, CBS News, at the Florida.